what's up guys? These days it may seem like there's much to fear and few reasons to have faith our society is going to be okay. If you felt like the world was falling apart lately, you're obviously not alone. This past Friday, I tuned into the news and almost instantly began to lose faith that things would improve anytime soon. It took the rest of the weekend to raise my energy back to where it was before I started reading about the riots. And that's why this week I want to talk to you about fear and faith and how they can impact your business and your life. While on the surface they may seem like two different things, they're actually pretty similar in that they both require a belief in the unknown. Neither fear nor faith deal with the present moment. We either fear something happening in the future we don't want to experience, or we have faith that at some point in the future everything will be okay. This week, I was chatting with a salesperson who told me he truly believed there would be another civil war in the United States. And I guess we could try to lighten the moment and joke that we are already in the middle of it, but my response to him was something like, yikes, don't speak that into existence. I believe what we see happening at this moment in history is the result of a world that has hit a tipping point energetically in its collective desire for improvement. And I also believe that life responds in proportion to our asking. The larger our desire for positive change, the larger the adversity life delivers us. So I can't help but think that given all the turmoil in the world, we must be asking for a pretty amazing future. And that thought alone can be inspiring, but the trick is to remember that we get to decide what we want and life gets to decide how it's delivered. And that applies on an individual level and a collective one. So right now, if we want more financial and social equality, a healthcare system that serves everyone well, and a balanced environment where we aren't in a constant fight against mother nature, I think life is showing pretty clearly which specific adversities we'll have to overcome. Now, the only way to overcome an adversity is to have faith that we can. It really doesn't matter if the adversity is a pandemic or social injustice or if it's dealing with a transaction that fell apart the day before. Big or small, the way forward to the life of a top producer is to choose faith and to view each adversity as life's attempt to deliver what we said we wanted. On a practical level, this means we must remember to control the inputs. In other words, we must choose moment by moment where we place our attention. So when I felt bad last weekend, it was because I'd stopped controlling my inputs. I kept reading about the riots long past the point where I was sufficiently informed. So instead of using my weekend to produce something useful or to help another person, I had to focus on fixing my own energy. I had to work to release fear and regain my faith. So think about my friend who believes there'll be another civil war. I mean, can you imagine how out of control his inputs must be to fear war? I can promise you no one who walks around with that kind of mindset has a thriving business. And when you're willing to take control of what you allow in your mind and reconnect to faith, the change that you want is manifested faster. It doesn't mean you won't ever get upset or angry, but it does mean that you'll be in a much better position to use the energy created by anger to do something constructive and build the life and the business that you want. So my encouragement to you this week is to make a deliberate choice to join me in faith. Faith that life is trying really hard to show us the way forward, and faith that we can work together to figure out what we must do to get there, both as a society and to thrive individually as a top producer. Well, you guys, thanks for watching. Before you go, drop down and leave me your comments. And as always, let's get out there and think bigger this week.